Good evening and welcome to Fort Langford. Uh, it's 7.30 in the evening on Saturday. And the leaves are in full color pretty much. And being 7.30 at night, it's starting to get dark. The chickens are going to roost already. We have that one hen that has the four little chicks. And they're kind of complaining they don't want to go to bed yet, like other little kids. And uh, so that's where that's at. Today's good project was putting together a rabbit hutch, stackable rabbit hutch they got from Tractor Supply. It's a do more cage that's uh, 24 by 24 by 18. And yes, it is upside down, but that's about where it is right now. And we're going to take a walk over here. And I'll show you why we need to stack cages up. Meanwhile, as we walk a little bit, I'll go ahead and show you some some of the colors here. It is a pretty place. I gotta admit that, but trouble is when it gets time that time of year, that snow blower there is gonna get a hell of a workout shortly. And by the way, if you're prepping there, there's a living off grid thousand gallon propane tank is a real good idea. Especially if you live in a place where it snows a lot. And here's our little meat birds sitting on top of their cage instead of in it. So later on in the night if they stay out here. No, you can't come out and play. Then I'll have to go in and put them in the, in the cage and lock it up. And I went and spent money buying a new sign for the hutch or the coop and there's the girls all nestled all snug in their bed at least the ones that stay in here there's a bunch that stay down at the generator shed these are all locked in for the night now And normally I do that at 11 when I shut everything down, but uh, we've been having some predators around here, so uh, we're shutting them in early. And there's our generator shed. About 900 projects in progress here. That's our old buck rabbit's hutch. And here we have my project from last week that's getting close to getting done. And we built a rabbit hutch there. And it ended up smaller than I wanted it, but at least it's got some room. We got these corrugated plastic here so we can get some light in here. And have light all year round. Got to put some boards across the top there where above that plastic. And we got two does the other day. And that's why we're making little cages because I'm going to put uh, a new cage on top of one of these other ones. There's our old doe. And then there's our brand new buck. And it's been about six hours since I cleaned the cage, so it looks like they've been busy making it dirty. But anyway, we put a little, I wanted to have the cages down lower, but my wife said it's too hard to bend over if she has to move rabbits, so we're just going to go up a layer here. 
and I figured I'd get stack them three high, but with this I could only get them stacked two high. And what? This new little buck, he's fun. He's just, uh, he's not too flighty, but he's little yet. He's only about 10 weeks old, I guess. And he's just like a little teenager. He'll zip around in that cage like nobody's business. But these two I want to get separated, get them bred and to our old buck here. And then set up a proper breeding program. And that's about what we're up to for tonight. Is I want to get that. Uh, there's a frame that I have to put in that one of those cages there to set that other cage that I made today on top of. So I'm going to take a shot at doing that and we'll see how it goes. Seeing as how it's getting dark, I'll probably wait till tomorrow to do it. But, uh, we got more done than we had done. And, but looking back over there, that's a septic field. And, uh, it goes way back where that short yellow orange tree is, is about a third of the way, well it's actually at the start of the septic field and it goes back, Let's see if I can get a better picture eh, not really it goes back there to the where the woods gets dark and uh, I'll take a walk over there pretty out tonight. It's actually been, it's supposed to rain today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, but it hasn't rained. And uh, it's been nice. It's been in the 60s and 70s. Got a bunch of mink, ca mink cages here from a friend. Brought them over, decided I needed them. I could make them into rabbit cages. Well, I ain't sure how that's going to work. But, uh, I can't really see much uh, rabbits like in the way a mink cage would smell. But now we're out on the septic field. And it comes right down here. I got to get out here and clean all these little bushes. But fun part was when we got married, this is where we got married at. And at that time it was the only really clear place in the property where we could have a bunch of people sitting around. And it looks like we had some limbs blow down here. Last couple of days we had a lot of wind. So this is just some of the woods we have here. And I wanted to show you something nice here. See, that was our fire when uh, we got married. It was just that inner ring of stones. And uh, over the years, people have come out here and done ceremonies and such, and they kind of arrange the stones the way they wanted to and uh, one woman come out here and she's looking and looking she said Bill these stones are walking and I said yeah well they're grandpas they know where they want to go and I sure wish it was as light much daylight as it looks like on this uh video but it's dark enough it's hard to see where to walk and I don't know if I can 
find what I'm looking for here. We'll go in the woods a little bit. There we go. And there's the stumps I was looking for. So on the other side of this stump, don't know if you can see it or not. We'll look around here and see. I'll have to come back in the daytime and probably move some leaves. But on the ground there, there's a circle. Somebody had a sweat lodge in there. Uh, they had a fire. Had a fire ring there. and uh, Then the fire to heat the grandfathers on. So they had a pit in the center for the, to hold the hot grandfathers and when they sprinkled water on them. And... Then they had a fire outside to heat the grandfathers. And you carry the hot stones, that's the grandfathers. You carry them on a green forked stick, a couple of them. Or you can use a field expedient, use a coal shovel, and hand them to the person that's running the sweat. And he'll put them in the as few or as many as he thinks he needs into the pit and then uh, sprinkle that water on them and it gets pretty warm in there. But anyway, people use this area for our property for ceremonies for, oh, at least 40 years that I know of. Like I say, this is a pretty place now, but it ain't going to be so pretty in another two months when the snow starts piling up. And I mean, it'll look pretty enough, but uh, when the snow's up to the bottom of that window over there, that bottom window, that's about 10 feet off the ground, and the snow will be that deep there. And with that happy news, I'll just wind this up tonight and get her up. And tomorrow night, well, tomorrow during the day, I want to make a longer video. And maybe one where we actually do something. With that, I'll ask you to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And wish you all the best of nights. Thank you for your time. Come back and see us again soon.